How many times have you heard of people who want to do something and they don't do it only to realize that someone else is doing exactly what you had planned to do? Not taking action has consequences. For a long time, I wanted to create content about things I love and value, but fear kept me far from this goal. I had all sorts of excuses that kept me trapped in analysis paralysis, inaction, and even fear. Until this time in 2022, June 2022 to be exact, I had just birthed my daughter. I felt a new zeal for life. I wanted to document my postpartum journey and my lessons on my new identity as a mom of two. I knew this was my opportune time, so I seized the moment and on 4th October 2022, I shared my first video. Then I went quiet. I was so overwhelmed by thoughts, comparison, scarcity mindset, and doubt. On 31st of December, I decided to use the new year as a new slate. I wrote down some video ideas and decided to post at least one video every two weeks to gain momentum. Today, as I speak, I posted over 18 videos on my channel. And this is just the beginning. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you some of the lessons that I've learned in the last six months of being on YouTube. Believe me, I've learned a lot on this journey. It's been six months since I consistently started posting on my YouTube. Six months ago, I did not know these things. I used to watch YouTube videos and I would get inspired by the different content creators that I loved. Some of the videos, I'll trash them and I'm like, ah, that one didn't do a good job. I picked up lots of inspiration from many of my favorite YouTube content creators, but I did not know what it means to create content on YouTube. Without further ado, let's get right into this part of the video. Present your requests and plans to God. Include God in your planning and initiation phase. Proverbs 16, 3 tells us to commit to God whatever we do and he will establish our plans. When I started my YouTube channel, I had all these ideas running into my mind. But when I committed my request before God of what I wanted to do, the vision of my YouTube channel started to unfold. I looked at what I had at the moment. I was a newly postpartum mom. I'd just given birth to my daughter. I could document the journey of losing the baby weight and of even just motivating a mom out there to start caring for their health. My first video in 2023 was published on the 3rd of January. And to date, that video has the most views, 10K views as I speak. Embrace the fear, but do it anyway. In 2 Timothy 1.7, Paul writes to Timothy and tells him that the Lord has not given us a spirit of fear, but he's given us a spirit of love, power, and a sound mind. This verse emphasizes that fear does not come from God. Anytime you feel a fear, most times the fear is coming from the enemy, who is the devil. Let this verse encourage you on your journey. If you want to start your YouTube journey, this is the right time to do so. If you want to start any side hustle, this is the right time to do so. In Joshua 1.9, it's written, Have I not commanded you to be strong and courageous? Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. If you present your plans before God, he will establish them. And pursuing those goals that set your heart on fire, you'll surely achieve the success that you want. While we talk about our lives I just want to spend some quality time Some quality time And I don't need a gift I don't need to know your sign And we don't need to do something you don't really like I just want to spend some quality time Some quality time You can tell me how your day went 
Now I listen to the days and we could grab a dinner at a mom and pop. Spin a wallet out of five star spot. It doesn't matter what we're choosing. Cause I could just spend all my time with you for all my days. So just tell me how I can make you wanna be mine. Tell me what I can try to love you the way you do best. Can I just take your hand and let's go? Grab a cup of coffee, pour it over ice Take a full walk while we talk about our lives I just want to spend some quality time Some quality time bought this light from Kmart. It was on sale. I got it for only $4 and the original price was $20. I think they're doing a clearance. So I'm going to test it out and show you how bright it is. So it doesn't come with a plug. You have to have a plug. And I'm going to switch on. Let me see. With the biblical aspect, it gives us the courage to go after what we want. But also you have to identify the reasons as to why you're scared or fearful. The thing I did was to identify the fear. Identifying the fear meant that I sat down and I looked at the reasons as to why I was afraid to start my YouTube channel. I was afraid to be judged by others. I was afraid of failure. I was also afraid of the unknown. I didn't know exactly how to go about it. But by identifying these fears, I was able to devise a strategy to get me going. First, what I did is I sat down and I'm like, you know what? If I want to start a YouTube channel, why don't I just give it one month? Let me release my first video and I see how I feel about it. Number two, I was able to write down a few ideas of the videos that I would film that were in my comfort zone. So that I don't just plunge myself into the YouTube. I try to test the waters of YouTube by just releasing one video at a time. And to date, I've released over 18 videos on my channel. So by pinpointing the exact fears, you can address them directly. Practice self-compassion. Remember to be kind to yourself through the process of starting your YouTube channel. Overcoming fear takes time and effort. Celebrate your progress, whatever progress it might be. It might be you're getting your first subscriber. It might be that you've gotten 30 subscribers. It might be that your video has gotten a couple of views or even you film the content that you need to upload on your YouTube. No matter how small the progress is, always endeavor to celebrate it. I also treated setbacks as an opportunity for me to learn from them. Many times I would overshoot and I'm like, I need to film the whole week. But I noticed as a new mom, it's very hard for me to film content on all days. So I gave myself to film when I could. I would film my workouts when I went to the gym in the morning and have them on my phone ready to be edited and uploaded on my YouTube channel. The best way to overcome fear is to take action. Ultimately, you need to take action. With small steps and gradually increasing the momentum, you'll be able to overhaul this fear. So endeavor to take small steps towards starting up your YouTube channel, getting into that side hustle, or even starting your wellness and fitness journey. Small steps will get you far than not taking any steps. I've delved into the fear aspect of starting because it was a very important aspect that I had to overcome before I could start my YouTube channel. just start you will learn along the way god gives us talents interests gifts and convictions about certain topics for a reason when you read the parable of the talents in matthew 25 verse 14 to 30 there are several lessons that you can pick from that in this i'm going to share with you six lessons that propelled me to start my youtube channel i had had youtube on my to-do list for six years oh, this is the closest i've met these guys yes i recall when i started my graduate school I was so thrilled to be in a new country, come to Australia and start a new life. And I wanted to document it, but fear kept me stuck. But when I read the parable of the talents, I was moved once more to pursue this goal. 
When you read the parable of the talents, the first thing you will notice will be stewardship. The parable highlights the concept of stewardship, emphasizing that we are entrusted with resources and abilities by God. These talents represent the various gifts, the abilities, the resources that God has given to each of us. We are called to use these talents to multiply them responsibly. So whatever God has put on your mind, whatever God has put on your heart, be sure to follow through with it. Number two is individual responsibility. There were three servants and each received a given number of talents. To one he gave five, to the other he gave two, and to the third one he gave one talent. Each servant in the parable received a different amount of talents, indicating that God has entrusted us with many different levels of gifts and resources. This parable teaches us that it's not about the amount that matters. What matters is taking action with what we've been given and using it responsibly. Number three is being a faithful servant. The servants who received two and five talents respectively were able to invest these talents and they doubled their value. While the one that received one talent got it and buried it in the ground. This one did not do anything with the talent. All he did was have excuses. These are the same excuses that I had before I started my YouTube channel. I feared how people will perceive me, what will I have to talk about, how will I have to learn about editing, scripting, will I have time, do I have the best cameras, what software will I use. I had all these excuses running in my mind because I was really scared to do what I was supposed to do. Whatever we've been given by God, he expects us to use it right. This is what we call accountability. If you have someone who you are accountable to, you will make sure that you meet the criteria that they hold you at. My accountability has been starting this YouTube channel and releasing a video every single week. On days that I've not been able to release a video on every single week, I've made sure that at least I've filmed content that I'll be able to edit and upload once I have the time to do so. Bet on yourself and do exactly what you plan to do. Do not come up with excuses, but show up each and every single day. In anything that you plan to do for the first time or even do consistently, what's going to happen? You're going to have the risks that are associated with it. The risks of me being on YouTube were less than the things that I would gain out of YouTube. With YouTube, I would learn to communicate better. I would help other people start their fitness journey or motivate them to do what they want to do. Or I would build myself a personal brand. While one of the risks that I came up with was that people might bash me and, and not watch my YouTube videos, but I've seen that that's not true. It was more of a fear than anything else. So starting YouTube has actually changed my life. I'm able to plan my day, I'm able to film, I'm able to do something that's been a conviction in my heart and not feel like it's work. It's more of a hobby and I love doing it. The last thing I learned from this talent and that propelled me to start was the consequence of inaction. This guy that did not take action, that did not invest the talent that he was given was thrown out and what he had was taken away from him. How many times have you heard of people who want to do something and they don't do it only to realize that someone else is doing exactly what you had planned to do? It has happened to me not once, not twice, not three times. So if you don't take action today, whatever you have, someone else will do it even with the simplest and even the least budget. If it's starting a side hustle and you've thought about it for all this time, but you've not taken action, you will find someone else doing exactly what you had on your mind. Not taking action has consequences. Don't fall in that pit. Don't be like this guy that was thrown out because he did not use the talents that he was given. Starting your YouTube channel could change your life. Following through with that side hustle could change your life. So go before God. Present your request before him and take action. 
however sketchy the action may be at the start but with time you're going to pick up the momentum you're going to pick up the skills you're going to get the confidence and the belief that what you're doing is the right thing Ha, 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 ha.